tonight. Michigan State hosting Wisconsin. Badgers down seven. They alley oop to Roy Boone. First points of the half for Boone. Wisconsin down five. Under four minutes to go. Boone and one. Second straight game with 22 points. Wisconsin up three, trying to pull the upset at Breslin. Then it's Martin versus Shaw. Shaw makes it, but here's the key. Mike Kelly misses a one-on-one, -on -one and see what happens. Charlie Bell finds the open shot, hits the three. Talking to Tom Izzo this week, he tells me Bell's got to become their go-to guy. They designed it. He was open. He was only one for seven. No, two for seven now, shooting threes. Make the big one. Ties it. Ties it at 57, but Vershaw had a chance, and he couldn't get it to go, so we're going to go to overtime, and Breslin tied at 57. Three basketball period. Spartans up by three. Bell. Oh, Jason Richardson flying. He had a career-high 25. Spartans pull away in overtime, 69-59. They won 39 in a row at Breslin. That's the longest home run in the nation. State started Taylor and Randolph, the freshman again, Digger. Yeah, you got to look at Wisconsin and say, you know, we lost to these guys four times last year. The four seniors from Wisconsin say, we'll take on the freshman, make it close. They go on that 15-2 run at the end of the game to go up five but can't hang on. Mike Kelly missing that one-on-one. Compared to Iowa State and Missouri, second half, Ferentz Gilbert. Ferentz stroking, cuts the lead to three, and it was all about perimeter shooting for Missouri. Especially in the second half, Clarence Gilbert pulls back, hits another three. He gets on a roll. Gilbert, again, see the three, be the three, with seven of 18 from behind the arc. This is usually Iowa State's game, shooting the three in overtime. Look at the big fellas running the break. Martin Rancic, the ball's Shirley. Stop calling me Shirley. Ties the game at 82. Under 10 ticks to go. Kareem Rush, who also had a big game. This one for the game, no. Quinn Snyder not pleased with that shot selection, and we go to second overtime. Thought Rush got fouled on that one on the shoot the free throw. Second overtime, Missouri down five. Brian Grar knocks down the three, and he's fouled by Tensley. Makes the free throw to put it up. Tensley's on the bench now for the rest of the overtime. He fouled out with 20 points, and then Gilbert stroke it. Cut the lead to one. They would end up tying it up under 10 seconds to go. Contrail Horton, Horton. Put the ball in Shirley's hands and couldn't get it done. A heave by Grower. Do I smell triple overtime in Columbia? Three, but here's the execution that you've got to love. Jerron Rush sets a great Kareem. screen. Kareem Rush, my mistake, <laughs> sets a great screen. Right now, look at four. You got it. Mr. Gilbert again, reading it, getting the three on fire. Gilbert filling it up. 43 points on the night. Horton loses it, got his shot blocked. And again, the Cyclones can't get it done. We go to a fourth overtime. It's 108-105. Grower again comes up with the steal. And why not find Gilbert to finish it off? Missouri wins the game 112 to 109. Gilbert and Rush combined for 75 points. They took 67 of the Tigers' 90 shots. Gilbert 43, obviously a career high. Rush was 13 of 31 from the floor. Took a while, but Quinn Snyder gets his first win against a ranked opponent. To win that, that type of game against them, they're so tough and they're so strong and, uh, and, and veteran and, and know how to win games like that. So for us to do that today is, is a big step for our team. The first half, I told Coach that I felt I could get on anywhere on the court that I wanted to. Well, he was like, well, we're not playing in the D. So in the second half, once I hit that first one, I, I, I kind of felt it and, and it, just, it just took off from there. Second quadruple overtime game of the week. Illinois, Chicago, Wisconsin, Milwaukee in the other one. Overtime on the road, nothing new for the Cyclones. In fact, look at this. In the last two seasons, all of their losses on the road have come during free basketball period. Kansas and Norman facing Samson Sooners, and, oh, they were all over the floor. Jeff Boshi can't get used to him with hair. Kenny Gregory doesn't have hair now. KU up six. Jayhawks now by nine. Boshi. Bottom. This has been a problem. He finally found his stroke. He was four of eight from behind the arc. Last seconds, Kelly Newton deep. OU goes into the locker room, just down eight. But with the game tied at 40, Nick Collison would come alive, Digger. Well, goes in the paint, gets it there, knows where the ball is. Great knowledge, court sense. Really has the opportunities to make things happen. Comes up with a big steal, creates the fast break. Even becomes a trailer on the play, but they take it to score. Now Collison. Oh, an air ball. Gets it, slams it down. There he is. job inside, outside for Collison. No trouble for him. 69-61, Kansas wins. Did I mention Boshi's trouble with his stroke? He'd been 5 for 31 from 3 in his previous four games. He was 4 of 8 in this one.
One week ago, taking on Georgia Tech in the Thriller Dome, the freshman Halston Lane, the pump fake, and another four-point play. He had 21 off the bench. Tech up by four. Final seconds of regulation. Darius Sangala, no Urban Murray. Just before time runs out, we're tied at 82, and we two are going to overtime here. Tech up by four. Comes Aikens down the boulevard. Yeah, it makes it happen. They go on a 6-0 run to start this overtime, and that's where oof, Wake Forest could not come back in this game. Robert Brooks gets his shot blocked by Broderick Hicks. Ball stuck in the iron. Alternating possession. We all love that rule. Wake gets it. Deacons with a chance to tie. Broderick Hicks. New. And Dave Odom goes on the road. The Saturday night game again, and he falls again. 95-89 in overtime. Tech's building a nice resume for the NCAA, UCLA, Kentucky, Virginia. Now wait. Credit Paul Hewitt. He's given his team a lot of confidence. They've won on the road against Virginia this week, and now, of course, Wake Forest tonight. They are hot. Virginia and Duke. Pete Gillen has never been able to hold Duke under 100. Coach K looking for 12 in a row against the Cavs first half. It was 3 nothing. It would get worse. Look at that dime. Jason Williams dropped on Mike Dunleavy. 10 assists for Williams. Duke up 5. It's later in the first half, a defensive breakdown. Got to see the switch play inside. Travis Watson goes outside, but Boozer's open in the paint. Doesn't get picked up. Great read by Jason Williams. Bounce pass in the paint. Boozer goes strong to the hole. Hey, this leads that 21 to zip run in the first half. Didn't take long. Duke again behind Williams. Playing the lane, getting the steal. Dunk you very much. 17 points for him. Digger mentioned the big run at Duke in control. And oh, look at Williams. 26 assists on 38 buckets for the Blue Devils. Duke up 37, and they would win it by 42. Largest win over a top 10 team in school history. And I'm here to tell you, if there's that much difference between number two and number nine, we might as well just play the top eight because Duke blows out Virginia. They held the Cavs to 27% shooting and 30 points below their scoring average. Number one team in the land, Stanford, hosting the Ducks of Oregon. In the first half, watch Casey Jacobson work. 20 points on the night. He had four triples still in the first half. Stanford up by nine. Jacobson. Oh, to Justin Davis and Stanford had it by 11. Stanford by 17 now. Frederick Jones tries to drive one of the Twin Towers. Yeah, Twin Towers, you're not going to win against the Twilight Collins Twins. They just get it done. Jason Collins, 17 points in the first half. Jason Collins would finish up with 24 points and 12 rebounds. Stanford, 100 to 76. It was 24 for Jason, a career high, by the way. Jaron with 13. Smith Coliseum, Georgia and Ole Miss. Jim Herrick got a late technical. Ole Miss had a 10-point lead. Seemed to have it away, put away. It's a seven-point game when Anthony Evans steals, slam, and suddenly it's a five-point game digger. Yeah, defense creates offense, and you go on an 18-5 run at the end of the game. This is where Georgia stole it from the end against Mississippi. And I mean, the dogs were on the Rebels like David Stern on Mark Cuban, and then the D.A. gets a conviction, D.A. Lane. Hey, 19 of us, 21 in the second half. On a mission, got it done. 70-66, the final. Georgia goes on the road and wins. Arkansas and Vanderbilt, the Hogs, been struggling. Russell Lakey drains it. Next Commodore possession, Brendan Plavik. Bada. Plavik, nine points on three three-pointers. Actually, that was the wrong Tennessee team. That would have been John Ward. Second half, Sam Howard. Oh, it's all about getting the shooters roll, isn't it, Dig? Hey, if you can't score, you can't shoot. That's the trouble. Vandy's hot, Arkansas's not. Shot more, four three-pointers. Phil Cox, Barry Goheen, doesn't matter. 81-64 the final. No one winless in the league, 0-3. LSU and Auburn. Tigers up by seven. The Auburn variety of Tigers. Adam Harrington doesn't see many shots he doesn't like. 19 points. Cliff Ellis' team up by 10. And then Jamison Brewer. Yeah, they want to run. They get it up and down. You got to credit Cliff Ellis. He knew how to run the break. They got it done against LSU. Brewer had seven points, and he had 10 assists. One of them right there, Kyle Davis, Auburn, 85 to 69. Ellis has his team going. Mississippi State and Alabama, a little testiness between the coaching staffs over some recruiting battles. Erwin Dudley was getting off early. Dudley had a double-double first half. Smart, tough, aggressive play. Finished up 13 points, 15 boards, and then Rod Grizzard. See the three. Yeah. Four triples in the game for Grizzard. Grizzard showing his stuff inside, showing off. 27 points for Grizzard. Alabama wins it 72 to 59. South Carolina and Tennessee first half falls up by four. Vincent Yarbrough from very deep. Big three puts on a three-point shooting clinic. And how about Tony Harris? Maybe he can find a three. Yes. Three for three from three. 11 in the first half. Balls up by 15. Second half. Hail to the victor. Ooh. 
Hail to the conquering hero. Double-double for Isaiah Victor. Tennessee by 17. Eddie Vogler's team tries to stay in, and Antonio Grant hits the three. And 14 points. Gamecocks is in 10. Tennessee would put it away. John Higgins gives him a spark off the bench, gives a steal. Charles Hathaway. Hathaway. Miss Jane and Mr. Drysdale pleased, I'm sure. 79-71, the Vols win it. Jerry Green called the Gamecocks the most aggressive team he'd seen in 33 years of coaching and the closest thing to a football game he'd been involved in. He wins by a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Marquette and streaking North Carolina. First half, Carolina up 21-12. Joseph Forte, he's a Peppers. Julius Pepper on the break. Even those football guys. Yeah, you better believe Peppers is terrific and some execution here from Carolina. Yeah, have the tight end send a screen for his quarterback, Ron Curry, to Basketball team will bounce pass inside, draw the action to you. You become a quarterback. An assist, a pass to who? Brendan Haywood. What's he gonna do? Slam dunk. Carolina just punishes Marquette in the paint. Peppers is a defensive end, but I bet he could be a tight end if he wanted to be. Carolina up by 20. Chris Lane with the miss. Haywood with another monster put back. He had 17. And then Jonathan Holmes, Holmes into Peppers. Huh. Matt Doherty just raves about his instincts and skills. Get those football players, you become more aggressive, and that's what happened to Carolina in the last four or five games. Peppers had 13 points. Carolina's won 10 in a row, 84 to 54 the final. Peppers finished up 13 to 9. He's still not going to the NFL draft, and he decided not to enter the NBA draft today, said Matt, jo Matt Doherty. He said that was the press release. And quietly, Joseph Forte, only 4 for 12 from the field, 10 points, didn't need a big game. Everybody else got it. You still win by 30. Off to the Big Ten now. Michigan on the road at Illinois. Frank Williams, he had a tailbone injury. First half, Williams replacement. Sean Harrington, good look to Sergio McClain. Sergio had himself a night and one. Later in the first half, Illini up by 11. Marcus Griffin goes up over Josh Haslin and apparently sore posteriors going around. Bruised right hip. Griffin didn't return. It's a 22-point game. Your guy Lucas Johnson finds McLean for the dunk. Triple dub and blow up. Yeah, points in the paint, which they didn't do against Iowa. They come back today and go up and get this win. They need it. Back at home. Iowa and Purdue. Early in the first half, Dean Oliver to do as Henderson. Henderson, 14 points. This part of a 14-0 Hawkeye run. Luke Recker back in Indiana. Luke didn't really have the stroke. It's all right. Reggie Evans was there all day. Iowa out-rebounded Purdue 42-27. Seven-point game. Hawkeyes with the lead. Look at this. Just sick. The kids call the pass from record to Evans. Evans, 18 rebounds. Just punished Purdue on the boards. Record only five points in this game. 83-73 the final. Minnesota and Ohio State under a minute to go. Minnesota down four. The trail by 17. Mike Bauer nails the three. And Jim O. Concerned. Well, he should be. John Blair Bickerstaff gets blocked by Ken Johnson. Brett Darby called for the travel, so the Gophers have another chance. Next play, Dusty Riker for the tie. No. Bickerstaff, Bernie would be pleased. Riker. No. Left is short. Minnesota comes up short and lose to Ohio State. Syracuse, second half, Preston Shumper. Preston Shumpert at 25. Syracuse 11 to 28 from three. It's a 14-point game. Tim Lyles. The answer for the Mountaineers cuts the Q's lead to five, but they'd get no closer, Digger. Now, Alan Griffin makes a smart play inside, reads the Sean Williams against the zone, gets the slam. Williams had 23-86-80. Hughes wins at home. UConn going on the road at Providence, and boy, what a day John Linehan had. Looking for Aaron Maxey. Nice little cut to the cup. 13-0 run early. The Friars taking control. Abdul Mills rebounds the Linehan miss. And, oh, might as well back up. Stroking. Mills liked that spot so well, thought he'd try it again. 14 points all in the second half, and Mills didn't hit everything when he didn't. Kareem Shabazz, Shazam. Fans storm the court, 81-68. Providence beats UConn. Virginia Tech against Georgetown. Georgetown trying to stay perfect. Demetrius Hunter with the steal. 16 steals to start the game, finish the game, and the Hoyas just going a big roll early, blow them out. 96-68 to final. The Hoyas are still perfect. Seton Hall at Pittsburgh, second half. Kids in the hall down six. Andre Barrett. Andre Barrett spots himself up. Drills the three, cuts the lead in half. Next fifth possession, Julius Page. Page hey, big in the second half. Did a great job for Pitt pulling this game off. Seton Hall, Darius Lane disappears. Pittsburgh, big win. 77-65 the final. Miami and BC, these two just met last Sunday. Troy Bell, another four-point play. And go 17 for 17 on the free throw line to ice this game. Miami staying close. 
Darius Rice, highly talented freshman, drains to three. He had 17. BC a little too much. Bell looking for Yuka Agby. BC wins at 82-73. 82-73, but at the same time, Bell just makes things happen with his creativity. The Irish in the house at Truman Clater built. First half, Kentucky up 30 to 24. Ryan Humphrey knocked out of there by Marquise Estel. Saul Smith to the recently starting Gerald Fitch. Smooth move by Tubby. 13 for Fitch. Kentucky up 33-24. David Graves misses. Matt Matt Carroll. Carroll. Oh, nice offensive rebound, and yes, it's good. 11 points for him. Kentucky with a nine-point lead, and more problems for the Notre Dame offense. Yeah, no offense at all. When you take a look, where is Troy Murphy in these highlights? Well, Kentucky's defense, six points in the first half, eight points in the, in the second half. Control Murphy, you control Notre Dame. Meanwhile, Kentucky all over the four. Keith Bogans wants to get out of that mess. Knocks down the three. Kentucky, 82-71. to 71. The Cats won six in a row. They hold Murphy's Digger mentioned to 14. Who's the last uh, Notre Dame coach to beat Kentucky? You remember that? Yeah, but uh, it was a decade or a century ago. The Huskers rounding into form. Craig Wortman to Kamani Friend. Friend has an extra F in his name, but you need a friend in the Big 12. 18 and 10. Huskers up. 48-36, and then Cookie Belcher to Stephon Brett. Belcher played very well, but Texas starts the game shooting 5 for 21. They're in the hole from the beginning. 80-67, to 67, they were in the hole at the end, too. Villanova goes cross-country. Take on UCLA. Or John Robert Wooden, Mike Warren. Former Bruin there late in the first half. Earl Watson steals. Ryan Bailey, Ryan Bailey, there he is. Steve Lavin pumped out a 14-point lead at the break. Bruins starting to come around a little bit. They're getting Capono involved in the offense. Jason Capono, really solid performance, hitting the threes, but UCLA punished Villanova. 19 offensive rebounds, forced them into 26 turnovers. 28th for the original headband man, 93-65. Cincinnati and Louisville, and he crumb day at Freedom Hall. Denny Crum hasn't had many days this season. They're getting some scores. Here's one, Reese Gaines ahead of the field. Gaines has played well for them, hasn't had a lot of help. Louisville down six. A little too much from Steve Logan and Cincinnati, a different team when they do this. Logan scores, Cincinnati plays, their defense is better, and he steps up again, finds anything he can. When he's hot, there goes the Bearcats. And he was. Seven Take control early. Warren Woods, he had a huge night out with Jason Gardner, Michael, the right stuff. 26 for right. Arizona 21 to 12 and some more high flying. Gardner again and Jefferson. Richard Jefferson got a tee, but I think you'll make that trade every time. Absolutely. Richard Jefferson on a breakaway slam. Remember when they didn't allow them to dunk in college basketball? Warren Woods would not allow any thoughts of a comeback. A swat there. He had 10 of them on the night. Arizona wins at 89-64. Triple dub for Warren Woods. Double.